All right, moving on to the next example. Find the equation of a quartic function f of x with x-intercepts negative 2 that have an order of 2, 0, and 3. And then this quartic function will pass through the point f of 2 is equal to negative 2. So as we did in the question before, I'm going to give this equation in factor form because it's easier to work with since we have the x-intercepts. Since this is a quartic function, I got four brackets here I got to figure out. So we figure out these brackets with the x-intercepts we're given. So we wrote out the x-intercepts here. So x is equal to negative 2. We can rearrange that and have that as x plus 2 is equal to 0. So that would be one of the brackets. Now because this negative 2 has an order of 2, that means that this bracket here will be squared x is equal to 0, we can't rearrange that any further, so that would be another bracket. And then x is equal to 3, we can rearrange that as x minus 3 is equal to 0. So that would be the other bracket. So notice how we don't have four brackets, we only have three, but since this bracket has an order of two, it's almost like we have two brackets, x plus 2 and x plus 2. So this here represents a degree of 4, so let's fill these brackets in. So we would have y equals a. Let's fill in this bracket first, this x, and then this x plus 2 will be squared, and then this x minus 3. All right, so this represents a quartic function, 4 degrees. 1, 2, so that's a total of 3, and then one more, that would give us 4. So now what we have to do is we have to figure out what this a value would be, and we do that by using this point. So if f of 2 equals negative 2, well that's the same as the coordinate 2 and negative 2. So let's plug in uh, 2 for all the x's, and then negative 2 for the y, and then we can solve for a. So negative 2 equals a, here we'll have 2, here we'll have 2 plus 2 squared, and here we'll have 2 minus 3. So this will be um, a to 2 plus 2 is 4, 4 squared is 16, negative 1, this is negative 2. So negative 2 equals 2 times 16 times negative 1 is negative 32. Divide both sides by negative 32. So a would equal negative 2 over negative 32. The negatives cancel out, so we're just left with 1 over 16. So our final um, equation, we would plug in this 1 over 16 here in this portion. So 1 over 16x, x plus 2 squared, and then x minus 3. So that there is our final quartic function with these characteristics. Now to show this graphically, so since this is a quartic function with a positive leading coefficient, if we were to expand this, the leading coefficient will be positive. It has n behaviors from quadrant 2 to quadrant 1. So if we draw this uh, at negative 2, there is an even order, so it will bounce off the x-axis then, it will go through the 0 x-intercept, and then it will go through this point 2 and negative 2, and then it will go through the x-intercept of 3 and then end off in quadrant 1. So that's how this whole scenario looks like graphically in case you wanted to see it.